Morning. So it is now Friday and um, yeah, I didn't really vlog much yesterday. I'm just not vlogging as much as um, I thought I would be. But me and Sean are now just on the sunbeds, just chilling. And um, we've had breakfast this morning and I think we're just having another pool day. So I'm not sure that will be much to vlog again, but we'll see what happens. Sean is going in the pool. <laughs> he said I'm the brolly. Oh, it looks cool. I'm just chilling on the sunbed, catching up on some YouTube videos that I missed. Um, at the minute I'm watching a bit of Brittany Lee Saunders. I love her. Um, but yeah, so I'm just catching up on some videos that I've missed while I've been away. I've already catched up on Emmerdale, so that's me. <laughs> Just in the supermarket, we've got like there's like a nice baguette. I think we're gonna get some that. I want some crisps. Crisps. I think they're in the queue for the bakery. Look at that. Oh, some nice sandwiches. I'm gonna get some chicken. I think. Look at them cookies. Yes. Are you excited? I love Chris. Is that sandwich nice? <laughs> Chick monkeys. So me and Sean went up to the room to get changed and we've decided just to have a walk. Um, we've decided just to have a walk along the beach and kind of like around the area. And we're just gonna go and have a look, probably looking for some shops and see what's around. So that's an update for you. Some nice traditional shops. I'm not sure which day yet, but we're just going to walk. There's McDonald's and that's our Hinge Town Hotel there. We're just having a walk along here. The place we are seems quite quiet. It doesn't seem like like our bars and that are in all the world. Um, there's a lot of restaurants and shops and stuff. found a little ice cream shop and we're just having some ice cream I decided to get a mint one which is one of my favorites and Sean got this Tell what it is. and is it nice he's getting there <laughs> uh, Sean got a Kinder Bueno one in a tub and honestly it's unreal um, but I do love mint ice cream it's definitely my favorite so as well like nice yay stay hydrated <laughs> we're on the move again we've just came down by the beach and we're just having a wonder see what's around here um yeah very nice, very nice. There's some nice palm trees. It's lovely. It's just so pretty. It's like really blue, the water. Sean! 
So we've just been at the shops, I got, I got a little beach dress, I got some bottles of water, Sean got a towel, a snorkel and some sun cream because we're brought now out with it. <laughs> um, and we're just heading back to this little place we found on the beach, it's dead nice and quiet and we're just going to go there. Sean might go in the, the sea, I might but have a bit of a phobia of the sea so I'm not really sure, I haven't thought that far ahead. Are you recording? I think I'm recording. So we found a nice little beach bit. So I'm just cruising off, getting ready because he's gonna go in the sea. I don't know if I am yet. This is our little setup, it's nice and cozy, and look at the view. No. It's literally unreal. It's so nice, and we're just in this little patch of beach. I hope you can see because I can't see anything because of the sun. But Sean's about to venture into the sea. There he is on a rock. Is it warm? What the hell? I might go in, but not at the Okay, so I've been just sitting here for a bit. Sean has kind of made it in. He's just sort of snorkel out. I'm gonna attempt to go in. The sea is like gorgeous and warm and it's like nice. And I really wanna go in. I just have like a phobia of the sea because it's like the unknown. I don't know what it is. And it's just a bit like, oh, I don't really like the sea. But um, yeah, I'm gonna attempt to go in it and just see how I feel. But if I start a few pan panicky, then I'll just come out. Um, and yeah, it'd be mint if I could like go for a little swim, but I doubt that'll happen. I'll probably walk in and then be like, nah, too much for me. But we'll see. <laughs> Hey huns, got a serious case. <laughs> your eyes are through the hole of my, you look through the hole, look, look, you through the hole of my hand. <laughs> anyway, I've got a serious case of chub rub because we went for an unexpected walk and ended up walking further and it was hot and now I'm suffering with chub rub and I'm not happy about it. Anyway, 
I wanted to come on here and have a quick chat with you. Um, so basically, in on my Instagram, I've been posting like a lot of holiday pictures and um, like pictures of me in a bather and stuff like that. And a lot of people asked if I could maybe chat in a vlog very briefly on maybe like body confidence or how to have a bit of body confidence. And I thought it was a good idea because obviously I'm not the skinniest of people and I am quite confident in posting pictures of myself and I don't know like I haven't always had that type of confidence I guess like there is things that make us feel more confident maybe um but yeah so people asked if I could do like a little video on it and talk about having body confidence and stuff I just thought I would come on here and give you like I don't know just maybe have a little chat about body confidence and stuff because it is something that you have asked for through my Instagram pictures and I thought well you know I'm gonna give it a what I would class as like confident and body confident and stuff I remember when I was a lot skinnier I was probably like a UK size 10 even an 8 like I was really really skinny a while back about four years ago i'd say and then i was not confident at all like i was really skinny and i'd lost loads of weight from being at school and i didn't have like much confidence um i remember like when i went on holiday with sean one of the first holidays we went on like i felt dead self-conscious and like even just walking around in shorts and that i remember i felt dead conscious about my body and stuff and i think it's because i was i was comparing myself to like obviously people that i would look at on instagram and like aspire to be like or really want to be like and knew that it was never going to happen because i had a complete completely different body type to them and i was completely different shape to them and i've always had these big boobs sure that's disgusting he's like big boobs because even when i was a lot skinnier i had massive boobs um and i just always compared myself to people like that and i think even when i was skinnier i still didn't feel confident because i didn't look like the people i would say on the telly or on instagram and i was just like so i don't know i was just so unconfident about it and i didn't feel like i don't know it's weird because like i just didn't feel that even though I was skinny like I was skinny at the time I just didn't feel like I was good because I was comparing myself to unrealistic people so yeah so I just want to sorry I've come out on the balcony because the telly in the in the um bedroom was a nine is because Sean's watching the telly so come to the balcony for a bit more peace um and just obviously to finish off the chat that I was having with you so yeah it's weird because when I was a lot skinnier about four years ago I didn't have the confidence that I do now and even in school and never had this confidence it's definitely not something that I was born with but I don't know even when I was skinnier like when you would have thought I would have been more confident I wasn't I was shy and I compared myself to people a lot and yeah I just I just didn't feel confident in myself or with who I was at all but yes yeah, so I just wanted to come on here and maybe tell you a few tips and tricks that I have around confidence and how I gained mine and for me I unfollowed every unrealistic body typed model or celebrity on instagram because i followed a lot of people who i aspired to be like and i i followed them as motivation but it wasn't motivation it was an unrealistic s stereotype of who i wanted to be but was never going to get to be and constantly having them come on my come up on my feed made us feel like i needed to be like them and i couldn't just be happy with myself so i unfollowed everyone that wasn't a realistic um body type in my for me um and in my opinion um and yeah I, that's that's the first thing i've done is i cut all of kind of the people who i was never going to be out of my life and i just decided to unfollow all accounts like that because i was constantly comparing myself to them another thing that um helped me for sure is definitely like 
if I'm having an unconfident day, I know this sounds really weird, but I drink lots of water, I help myself feel a bit better, I'll eat a bit of fruit. This could be like a load of crap, but it really does help me feel better, even though it does probably nothing it is. So I do like to do that. And um, also like do things that make you feel better. Have a pamper, have a face mask, do your tan, put some nails on. Like little things like that make me feel more confident about myself. So I do things like that. And then I think it's important to get clothes that flatter your body type because there's a lot of clothes that you know for certain body types don't look good and if you try it on you're gonna feel a bit like shit but um yeah so like find clothes that flatter your body type your style and yeah that that's kind of what worked for me and I know it's not like loads of tips because I think having confidence in yourself and body confidence isn't something that I can just say do this and you'll have all the confidence in the world because realistically that's not going to happen. It, I think you just have to go with it and learn that you are who you are. You can't change who you are and even if you could would you really want to? Like you don't want to be somebody else. Yeah we look at people and we think oh, I'd love to have their body but you just don't know really. <laughs> like I don't know I just think we're living a industry in a world where it's like i want to be like this person and i want to be like this person but really you don't know like they could have health problems you don't know about they could have issues you don't know about and i just think we just compare ourselves too much instead of just being happy with what we've got and who we are and yeah i don't know god this was motivational um i just wanted to come on here and have a chat about that because i think i see a lot of people and i've got i know i've got some young followers as well who follow me and look at me and think how are you so confident when you don't look like the people on instagram or you don't look like the people in magazines and i'm just like because you really how many people actually look like them people you don't need to look like them people to have confidence or yeah I just wanted to come on and have this little chat and just cover it in this vlog about body confidence and I hope it helped at least one person out there because if it did then yeah that's that's my job done <laughs> um but I'm gonna go and get ready now because me and Sean have decided we don't actually fancy the food in the hotel and I we're gonna go out and see if we can find like a nice Spanish bar or something so that should be nice but I'm gonna go and get ready for that and have a nice bath and stuff so I'll check in with you when I'm ready Bye, me and Sean are ready for our evening meal. We are just going to look for a restaurant. Just got this on with my little lax skirt. Um, so yeah, we're just walking along the beach. We'll fancy a restaurant night inside the hotel food. So that's what we're doing. We're going to try and find fancy like seafood because Spanish is really good for like seafood and that. So hopefully we'll find something like that. By the way, tonight's vlogs will be on my phone because I don't like taking my camera out of this case. I break it, plus my bag's never big enough. So yeah. So we found a little restaurant um, where we're just going to get some food. So I think I'm going to go for prawns and garlic because I love them. Then I fancy spaghetti bolognese which is like one of my all time favourite dishes for after. And Sean's currently deciding but look at the view. Like that's the sea there. What you fancy? Fish again, like. and getting monkey. Yeah. So yeah, it's this gorgeous little um I don't even know what it's called. It's called uh, Las or Las or Las or something like that. But um so yeah, I'm just gonna have our tea, yeah. So I've got my prawns in garlic with my tea and tea, some bread, and Sean's got these at Cannonburg. Oh, excited? Oh, I love prawns and garlic. So I've got spaghetti bolognese and Sean has seafood stew. And then some carbs over So me and Sean are back home now and we're literally just gonna, well, I'm gonna take all my clothes off and put my pajamas on, take my makeup off and go to bed because we're tired. We went up to a nice little square thing which was a little bit of footage of um, tonight which was really nice. Someone called Michelle on Instagram recommended it to me so yeah we really enjoyed that. There was like nice bars and that so we just went there and yeah we're basically gonna call it a night i hope you've enjoyed this vlog if you did please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my youtube channel it means the absolute world and i'll see you very shortly for another video
Au courant de bord. <rire>